Alright y'all, the video blog starts a day early as I am in Buffalo at the Peace Bridge about to cross back into the good old US of A. Let's go. Alright, it's week four of the Texas high school football season and I am headed back to where I ended week three of the Texas high school football season, Kincaid Stadium in Dallas, as we have a class 4A non-district tilt between the Ranch View Wolves and the Dallas Carter Cowboys. Got the baby blue uniforms, getting their warm-ups in. Getting ready for a Thursday night game. Yeah. All right, shout out to the real heroes, the Dallas Carter Athletic Trainers. Ladies, give, give everybody a wave. There you go. Shout out to the Athletic Trainers. Got the Ranch View Wolves going through pregame here. Getting ready to get it done Thursday night game. Getting ready for the second half here at Kincaid Stadium, the Carter Band. Just got finished performing. The Cowboys are up big on Carrollton Ranch View as we head to the third quarter. Fourth quarter almost wrapping up here in Dallas as the Carter Cowboys up big on Carrollton Ranch View. Uh, 48 to 18, with about two and a half minutes left. Uh, big plays have been the story for the Carter Cowboys tonight, and uh, they're going to improve to two and one on the year. All right, y'all, it's Friday night and it's week four and we got a big one in Denton tonight as we got a top 10 matchup in class 6A as the fourth ranked Atascacita Itasca Eagles travel up from the Houston area to North Texas to take on the fifth ranked Geyer Wildcats at Apogee Stadium on the campus of the University of North Texas. I wonder if there's a statue of Ashley Pickle anywhere at that stadium, but we may search around for the, for the statue of Pickle and uh, hopefully we're gonna get to see a good game as I will be doing the game with our good friend Gavin Moritz from Texan Live on the broadcast. It should be a fun one. And uh, let's see if I can maybe uh, visit a well-known Texas gas station pregame to uh, fuel up on snacks. I don't know about you, but I think having a Bucky's in the Metroplex is definitely a good thing. Always a good spot to fill up for a little pregame sustenance. Greatest root beer ever, right there. Bucky's bottle this up and sell it in sell it in the stores nationwide. It's amazing. We could not track down a statue of one Ashley Pickle, but we did find a pretty cool statue of an NFL Hall of Famer. That is Mean Joe Green, native of Temple, Texas, Temple Dunbar, and UNT's most famous football player. We're here in the radio booth here at Apogee Stadium. Geyer and Atasca City are going to get kicked off in about an hour and a half. My boy Gavin Moritz in the house. Got us all prepped. Got spot sheets. I brought some gummy worms because I'm a, I'm a slob. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. My binoculars, got to have those. So we are here in the North Texas Home Radio booth. I bet Ashley Pickle has been in here a few times. All right, we got the Geyer Athletic Trainers getting ready for the game. You ladies working hard? Yeah! All right, who's going to win tonight? There you go. All right, we got the H-Town kid, Marcus Gutierrez, in the house in the Houston Chronicle, covering Atascacita and uh, Geyer. How was the drive up from uh, Houston? Drive was good. Got the, the ride with the team. Let me sit right next to him. Uh, got to fly with the cheerleaders. Everyone's excited to be here. It's a big game. Awesome drive. Let's see what happens. You, you, like, you love the Metroplex. You're a Metro. You, you, you love, deep down, you love the Metroplex, right? Growing up in Houston, you don't like Dallas, but Fort Worth is another animal. There you go. There. Smart man, smart man. Uh, 7 one, 3 all the way through. All right, enjoy the game. All right, switching things around today. We got two cameras set up. Mark's getting one, one over here for me. So it should be fun. Let's do it. <laughs> got the Atasca City Eagles coming out for warm-ups. Shout out UNT, Crooked Crust Pizza. I'm sure this is a Denton staple. I'm sure many a college kid has had a late night pizza from this place. All right, second half of play underway. Duncanville was down 14 0. They ended up scoring 21 unanswered points to go up at the half with under five minutes left. Uh, 
Coach Samples walked out to midfield, gave a Tiger Woods fist bump, and those guys walked off juiced up and ready to go. So we'll see how the second one goes. Also, there's our guy out here doing work for Dave Campbell's. <laughs> All right, we're back here at Apogee Stadium after the Geyer Wildcats in a state-ranked battle knockoff on Bullet Tascacita 46-35. We're going to interview Coach Rodney Webb here in a little while, but great ball game here in Denton. Two top ten teams battling out. It was a lot of fun, and uh, I think we'll see both of those teams come deep in the playoffs this year. Well, it's 5 a.m. on Saturday morning, and your high school football buddy is up and at it, headed to the airport. Head to H Town, got a double header today. So while we're driving around the neighborhood, we're getting ready to get rolling. So it's gonna be another day of high school football here for the Dave Campbell's Texas football crew. First off is Fort Bend Marshall versus Houston Northside. So this will definitely throw you off schedule on a Saturday morning. A flat tire on the way to the airport. So I don't know, this first game might be in a little bit of jeopardy. Self-respecting gentleman should know how in case he comes across a damsel in distress by the side of the road. If I see one scorpion, I am getting on someone's shoulders and never coming down. And there's your damsel. So we're back on the road, got the tire changed, but unfortunately I have missed my flight to Houston and uh, right now there's no, no places on standby for me. So it doesn't look like I'm gonna make it down to H-Town this weekend, so. But hey, I can watch some games on Texan Live and still check out all the action this weekend. So that's what we do at the DCTF crew. We adapt and overcome. So hope everyone has a good football weekend and watches a little college football this weekend while I'll be watching some high school ball. So hope everyone has a good weekend. All right, time for football. And guess what? At Turner Stadium, they serve us food. We got salad, we got wings, and baked potato. Say hi, Garrison. So, Gavin. Hello, Trevor. Making an another, another appearance. Yeah, yes, yes. Mm. Maybe it'll be fun, more fun than last time. Yeah, we'll we see. got Summer Creek, we got West Side, 6 p.m. kickoff, but for now, before kickoff, like Trevor said, baked potato, we got some wings, we got some cobbler of some kind here. I got peach. Super excited. Let's go. Now down the field, triple coverage is going to be caught anyways inside the five. Hey, thanks for watching this clip here on YouTube. If you like this kind of stuff and you want more of it, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, you can watch us live every weekday at noon at texasfootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, or here on YouTube. And if you want more of the best coverage of football in the state of Texas, check out texasfootball.com and become a Dave Campbell's Texas Football Insider at texasfootball.com slash subscribe.